Now more Hollywood bigwigs are accused of sexual abuse and rumors on how Oscar Pistorius prepped for his day in court. Also, a delay in the Chris Brown case. Those are just some of today's legal headlines. And celebrity divorce attorney Vicky Ziegler joins us on the couch to go over today's big story. So Hi. welcome. It's always a pleasure Hi. to have you here. Gorgeous ladies. How oh, are you? Gosh, Thank you. Well, Thank you. Two to one. Let's <laughs> well, talk about Chris Brown's assault trial, yes. which was delayed because uh -huh. of the verdict for his bodyguard. So again, he got sentenced. Yeah, this is a big problem for Chris Brown, apparently, and the rumor is that the bodyguard would be testifying if he does take the stand in his trial that he's the one that assaulted this individual, not Chris Brown, which would obviously cause a huge case for him in the probation matter because obviously he's facing possibly six months in the assault trial and then another four years in jail if convicted for the violation of probation. So the big problem is will this bodyguard get immunity? Oh, wow. Big deal. I don't know. Very questionable. And the whole case about immunity is that this bodyguard wants to appeal his conviction and he doesn't want to get on the, te on the stand and testify against himself, the right to self-incrimination. He wants to preserve that. So I don't know what they're going to do. And uh, Chris Brown's attorneys are working over time to Mark make Garagos sure. Mark Garagos is making oh, that Garagos money. Oh, Garagos is going crazy, but this is a big deal. This, this is not is just a messy. normal assault case. Yes. If, in fact, he gets convicted, he can go for four years in jail for the California case with the Rihanna That's probation right, situation. That's right, because he violated that right. in 2000. If wasn't hanging over him, this wouldn't be as big of a deal, but because it is, major, major problems, right. legal issues. Wow, okay, you'll have to keep us posted. Yeah. But now let's move on to this one. There are accusations that Oscar Pistorius took some acting lessons yeah. before his testimony. Well, what, are you, what are your thoughts on this? My beautiful country, South Africa. Last time I told you my parents are from South Africa. Mm -hmm. My aunt's here now, and we're talking about it. What's the scuttlebutt going on? Everyone is saying that this possibly could be true. This is outrageous. Is I mean, this abnormal, though? Yes. Or, okay, okay, yes. I, because some people yes. were saying, you yes. know, Maybe he wanted to prepare himself. Right. This is yeah. his life. He's yeah. been right. vomiting and right. crying. Right. And, and this is just, not an acting lesson. This is you are trying to fight for your life, the freedom. And this is a legal battle, a legal case. This is very serious. There's rules of court. I mean, there's a judge sitting there. You have to. You can't chew gum. She was kicking people out because they're talking. This you're fighting for your life. You're not taking an acting lesson and trying to get into a movie. Mm -hmm. Un really well, bizarre. Has someone come forward, an acting coach or a source saying no. that they know he took these classes? A, a third party, a, third a woman party. that wrote. She's from New Jersey but that was covering she was a reporter in South Africa said she knows this person they said he was taking classes but it hasn't been verified but wouldn't it be great if they put on the witness list this acting coach and Could brought them into the world oh. I would be doing that That's certainly like if I was in the prosecution yeah. stuff, oh know? my god I'd be <laughs> chomping at the bit if that were the case yeah oh, unbelievable all right yeah. let's talk about now the uh, man accusing X-Men director Brian oh. Singer of molesting oh. him uh, we just talked about this recently mm -hmm. when he was underage now yeah. again with the statute of limitations uh, what does this do right so everyone has to understand usually once a case is old or there you can only charge somebody after five years the statute is told which means it stops so even though these alleged allegations happened years and years and years ago the court allows you to file an application if it's right in the right place now it's filed in Hawaii in federal court apparently they film there that's where they say they have jurisdiction but that can't be proven I suspect the defense attorneys are going to be trying to fight venue saying it's not right this is defamatory they don't have a claim and they're gonna try to kick it out but that's what everyone's asking about how do you just how do you file charges from 10 15 mm -hmm. years ago that's why because sex abuse cases can can be told in the state in Hawaii, meaning that even though it stops at a certain time, the courts say, you know what, these are such serious charges, and when there are allegations against a child, you can still bring them even though the time has told. Well, here's something else that I thought was mm -hmm. very interesting and also very damaging yeah. is that he's also naming other Hollywood mm -hmm. bigwigs. Oh so God. I think that just by naming these people, right. even he's if already you, putting them in the court of public opinion. Sure, Repu you know, killing people's reputation. I mean, I think Hollywood is really turned upside down over these allegations from some of the friends I've been talking to in California all over the country because honestly when somebody says something it doesn't mean that it's necessarily true it has to be proven in a court but it's out there your reputation uh, is mm -hmm. everything you Absolutely. stand and fall on it and it's very problematic and these are serious charges drugging children giving them alcohol and sodomizing them Ugh. I mean this is no joke so they're gonna have a fight for their life in terms of their reputation on the right. line very disturbing story know. but you know what it's always great to have you here Vicki oh, Ziegler thank, thank you so you. much for joining Thanks, us ladies. on the couch and helping us make some sense of all of this Thanks. thank you